All right, folks, today we're taking a look at Dallas and trying to understand the music scene and some popular places to find music and some fun and interesting places too all around the city. So if you want to get a sense for what Dallas looks like, what the music venues of the city look like, and what the music scene looks like, then check out this video. I'm going to be featuring 12 different locations. So let's get started. First up is Hank's Texas Grill. This is located in McKinney, and it's one of the most popular places to catch live music. There's a lot of folks who've played there, a lot of famous people like Guy Clark and Mark Chestnut, and you could see their images there right on the wall. Now they got open mics there on Wednesdays if you want to brave that stage and hang out in the back room. And this is a great venue for catching some of those acts that are famous in Texas. And when I came by, I saw Jeremiah and Blue Haze playing there. Just how fun it used to the bottom of the chains will steal the Next up is the Ranch House in Saxe, Texas. This place was recommended to me, and I was told that this place is like a stepping stone to a place called Southern Junction, which I'll feature next. This is a country bar, kind of saloon and dance hall, so you all find dancing here. So a lot of times bands will play here first while they work their way up to playing at Southern Junction. But it's a bit hard to catch who's playing, and so I just stopped by, and there was a DJ playing that night, and they had that dancing going on right there on the dance floor. Next up is Southern Junction. Now they have more than one location, but I'm featuring their location in Royce City. This is a bit east of Dallas. This is a really big space. So they got lots of room on the dance floor, and they got lots of tables all surrounding that dance floor, and they're happy to sell you some steak. So you can eat some steak. I came on a night when Brandon Bamberg was playing. And now we're going to turn to the Deep Ellum area, which is a really culturally interesting and vibrant area of Dallas, to a popular and well-known spot called the All Good Cafe. You can catch some really intimate shows here, so you got to look out who's playing. Now I came on an open mic night, which happened on the first Thursdays, with Scarlet Deerling and Milo. They were a lot of fun to watch play. They are really good and really polite. And really nice people so I had a good time catching some music and playing some music up there and drinking a cup of coffee now also in Deep Ellum is a popular spot called Adair's Saloon it's a saloon as advertised and so you find that saloon type music playing there they are famous for their hamburger so I had to order up their hamburger and give that a try had some random crowds popping in watching some sports games and catching the music as well and Kirk Holloway was playing and he was a really talented performer. Next up is the Deep Ellum Art Company. This is a nice uh, place where they got some real concerts there. You can catch more of a diversity of what they got from traveling acts as well as Dallas-based acts here in this nice space. We can find a bunch of cool art along the walls to entertain yourself before the bands are playing or while you're waiting for the next band to come on. When I was there, I caught this band called Blue Tongue, and they were pretty cool and entertaining. They were a funk band coming up to Dallas from Austin. Next up, this is the final place that's in the Deep Ellum area, and it's called Sons of Herman Hall. This is another place where you can find those big Texas acts and the big touring acts. So it's a historic venue. It's really nice. It's got that historic look about it. They display all that from the photos on the wall showing Todd Snyder and Reckless Kelly and Austin Lounge Lizards and Ian Tyson and so on who've played there. Now I went on a Wednesday and they got swing dancing night on Wednesday. So that's where you can go and uh, do some swing dancing. And they had a New Orleans style band playing that night. Now another place you can find swing dancing is called Revelers Hall. And this was a lot of fun. I had a good time here. You can order up a fancy drink. And it's in that Bishop Arts District. So you could just enjoy the neighborhood. And I had a really great time hanging outside and just looking at all the people going by and the storefronts. Really relaxing. You got a really unique Dallas feel to this place for me. And they got swing dancing there. The crowd likes to go on Thursdays for the Bishop Avenue Hot Six. They got a residency there on Thursdays. You can find that kind of music going on most nights of the week there at Revelers Hall. Next up is the Green Elephant located in Northeast Dallas. This is a hip hop or rap style uh, place, kind of nightclub. And I went on a Tuesday when they had their hip hop or rap uh, open mic. So people were really up there performing, trying to draw the crowd in. Get the crowd excited. It's got a dive bar vibe there. And in addition to that inside space, they also got 
a lot of outside space and music outside as well. Next up is The Goat, located in East Dallas. They call themselves the Neighborhood Blues Bar. So this is a great place to go if you want to find some blues. We got blues multiple nights per week. And I came on a Thursday for a pretty special night. It was the Pete Barbeck Blues Jam. They had all the folks from the Blues Jam out and all the fans in the audience out because they were excited to be back after a bit of a hiatus, jamming out and dancing to some blues music. Next up is Kearney's Feed Yard, which is located in Sunnyvale. Now I went on a weekday when Kenneth Waters was playing inside. So I enjoyed some music, enjoyed hanging out with the folks at the bar, I enjoyed some really good food there. Now they do have a whole back area out there where they have bands play on weekends. So you gotta check out who's playing and go check out a band and have some fun there at Kearney's Feed Yard. And last but definitely not least is Cowboys Red River. I consider Cowboys Red River to be the wildest nightclub in all of Texas. It feels like there's a thousand people inside there. However, if you meet a woman there and you exchange numbers and then you end up stop responding to her text and then you see her there three months later, it's gonna feel like she's easy to spot out in that crowd of what feels like a thousand people. I probably had about 10 dances there and I had a lot of fun on those dances. There was a lot of feet bumping into each other, but I was enjoying the music and just trying to have a good time and just appreciating the wild energy of this place. People are up there dancing on the bars just like you've seen in the movies. And I worry about those folks dancing up there on the bars, you know? If they fall down, someone's gotta look out for them. But I see the employees walk by, they don't even lift an eye at that. I got back to my truck at one in the morning that night, turned it on, and discovered that my catalytic converter was stolen. So that really rounded out my uh, experience at Cowboys Red River. And then while I was waiting for the Uber to pick me up, the woman who I had uh, met last time I was here and ended up stopped responding to her text messages accused me of ghosting her. So things got really awkward. But I think you ought to look up the definition of ghosting. I don't think it can happen if you haven't gone on an official date, let alone if you haven't even slept together. But there you go. That's a night at Cowboys Red River. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope you understand where you can find some music and I hope you understand the music scene of Dallas and Dallas, the city itself, a little better. I posted other videos about the Dallas area, like I've featured the open mics in the areas. I got a whole nother video on different venues in the area that feature different ones than the one here. So I'll put a link to those in the thumbnails and in the description below. So check those out to learn more. Hit that subscribe and the bell to stay tuned on my posts here. Let me know in the comments what else I should be checking out. And thanks for your support.